Well, this morning, Donald Trump is the official, official Republican nominee for president, so many think it's now time to focus on that party unity. Tonight, the Republican National Convention hears from Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, and also his former Republican rival, Texas Senator Ted Cruz. Our we can just put a political expert, Dr. Bart Rossi, that's uh, here with us again, talking about Cleveland and what's going on at the RNC. We'll start with you, day two, you think, much better than day one. They got their act together. I give them high marks for, for last night. I think they put on a really good show. I, I thought that uh, Mitch McConnell and, and Paul Ryan chose their words very carefully and very well. And they actually presented with some energy. I don't think they were too flat. But I also thought that really uh, Christy and, and Tiffany uh, Trump and Donald Jr. were really quite spectacular. I, I thought they just really hit a home run. Uh, Tiffany uh, gave uh, that youthful approach, which I thought the campaign needed. And Donald Jr. gave the best speech and really uh, outdid himself. I thought he was really quite uh, spectacular and positive. He, he talked about positive traits with regard to his father. I think they need to do more of that. Mm -hmm. And Christie showed that he is really a good attack person. He is really a dynamic uh, politician with a lot of political skills. The prosecutor prosecuted Hillary Clinton a lot during his speech. <laughs> yes, he did, and he did it very well, but that's him. He is very good. He has a multitude of problems in New Jersey. But nonetheless, I think that uh, Donald might have made a mistake by not picking him as his VP candidate because Christie would have been very forceful and determined and aggressive on the campaign trail. That sets up the challenge you think is ahead for Indiana Governor Mike Pence, the VP nominee who accepts it today, and it's his term at the podium in prime time. Right, and can he do as well as Christie? I, I don't know if Mike Pence has the personality and the traits that Christie does because Christie is really much like Trump. So it's, it's going to be a, a hard road, I think, for Mike Pence. I think he, he can do well. But to do as well as Christie, that's going to be hard for him. And he really needs to introduce himself. He's not yeah. going to be that widely known outside of maybe a state or the Midwest. Yeah, I think he can present himself as a, as a really solid, conservative person. I think he's going to try to pitch that he can make a difference perhaps in Indiana and Ohio. I don't know how he does Ohio. I think they vote for themselves pretty much. But, but nonetheless, I think he can really present a pretty good picture of himself as a conservative uh, uh, VP. I was just reading about Ted Cruz and his speech tonight and the, the uh, dichotomy or the uh, box he's in. Does he endorse Donald Trump, which he hasn't done, or does he start to announce he's running for president? again in 2020. What do you expect? I think the latter. <laughs> I, I think Cruz is really all about uh, himself pretty much and trying to, to move in some direction that will get him eventually the presidency. Uh, I think we see that in him. Uh, some folks like him, but I think there's a, a lot of individuals who find him quite difficult to accept. Yeah. Are you reading much into Senator Rubio not being there in person? He's got a videotape to remarks that are delivered today, but he's not there in person. Do you read much into that? I think he's probably playing his cards well, actually. Uh, by being there, he might be uh, you know, leaning too much towards Trump. Uh, he could focus more on his campaign here in Florida, the way he's handling it. No, I, I think he's, he's playing it pretty well uh, for him at this time. Yeah. And have you given your thoughts to what Donald Trump should be saying tomorrow night? Well, Donald Trump should be himself. I mean, he got here for a reason. He did market himself extremely well, whether you love him or hate him. He needs to be the authoritarian personality tomorrow night. He needs to, to be the person who's going to be in charge and take control of the country. That's what people like who are supporting him. He has to be that first and foremost. Don't change. Don't change. <laughs> for him. For him. For him. Yes. Be who you've been. That's right. All right. We'll be watching that. Dr. Rossi, I know we'll be talking to you later. Wait, this morning's right back. Stay with us.